You know what I'm saying? After all, I just said I'm on the Two Live Studio Network. But I like being on my own network. You know why? Because I always got the music in the background, man. You know? Uh, that music give me a little extra energy. Besides the little energy I be having when I'm here in a silence-ass place. You know? I can put some... Oh, what you, um, what you, what you got to do, Keith? You got um, to uh, get with Keith. And all you gotta do is download the instrumentals. You can play the instrumental. Oh, that's what I need to do. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can just oh. um, focus it on the especially if it's if it's songs that everybody knows. You can play the instrumental and talk over that or whatever. Or you can just let the instrumental rock. Oh, you know, okay. I'm you know, I'm trying to speak the rules. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I, I hear you. Here goes. Here goes. Truck D. Truck D said, "Hey, Tiff, why don't you just stay out of folks' personal lives and just enjoy the entertainment?" Hashtag. Not being mean, <laughs> I just. Uh, that's truck D. That. That, wait, 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 wait. I mean, now hold on, hold on. <laughs> you like, hold on, don't, don't, don't get that. Oh, Maxwell, anybody watch Snowfall? Yeah, I watch Snowfall, man. man. What's that about? What's that about? It's about it's about how the government basically uh, brought crack into the into the into the country. Basically. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. Said Galloway, he's a um, he's a big component of Snowfall too. Yeah, yeah, it's on FX. It's, it's on FX. Yeah. Chief, it's the first season. So if you get down with it, you know you still you still on pace. You're not like two, three seasons behind. It's the first season. It just started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, man, I'm trying to figure out. Do you watch? Um, do you watch? Um, um, and this is an entertaining part of. Um, the number one Chief Rocket Jersey Vern recap show on a Monday, the weekend recap. Um, listen, uh, do you what, did you watch um, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta? Man, you know I don't watch that reality TV crap, man. Oh, okay, no, because that's where Carly B started at, and I'm just trying to figure out who the fuck, went, which one was Carly B, because there was so many motherfuckers going through there that was supposed to be some type of rapper or artist or sing or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I'm trying to, I kind of miss, I never seen, see, I showed you that I just listened to the fucking shit because they play it a hundred times on the radio, you know, and whatnot. But um, I never really looked to see who she was because I knew I seen her on the show, but I just didn't really, my son told me I know who she is, but I just don't know, man. I don't be into all that shit, but I wanted to see who she is because I wanted to figure out, just, was she one of the ones got shit thrown on her or was in a fight at, every time they'd be at clubs and shit? You know, they'd be in the VIP all the fight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. My, my, my homegirl was on that show. Um, my homegirl, Erica, uh, Erica P. She was... Oh, uh, oh. I think she was one of the two that was... Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Hold, hold, hold <laughs> up, hold up. Erica was the bomb. She's the best chocolate yeah, woman like on that, the that, show. That's your homegirl? She like it. She like it. Erica ain't that like. She ain't that like. You nah. talking about? You talking about Scrappy like, Baby Mama? Scrappy Baby Mama? Nah, not not Scrappy Baby Mama. The other one that Scrappy was dealing with, the light skin one. Oh. And then oh. he got mad at him and was arguing in the bar one time in the middle of the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, that. Her. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. She said that Boston and shit. Oh yeah. Oh okay. Yeah, like when she first when her uh, like her baby father. My baby father is the homeboy, so like you know, you know, I like some of the stuff that she said. I only seen like a couple episodes that she was on, but I know she was saying something about you know, like her baby father being abusive. You know, like I remember, you know, what I'm saying oh. like, but I didn't like, I didn't like, you know, I mean, she got to get her money, you know, and that's the homie, so you know, it, it was what it was. But I, I, I didn't, I didn't really watch it like that because it ain't her. You know, what hey, I'm saying? she ain't hey, nothing like. TV. We got another cowgirl fan in the house. This cowgirl go by the name of Ron G. What's up, Ron G? Boy, them cowgirl fans come out, boy, when football season start, man. Just to fall back in line once it get rolling, huh? Just wait till just wait till week twelve over around. They, they, they won't be around. Oh, Sluggo corrected me. Carly B was in Love Hip Hop New York. Now I know who she is, Sluggo. That's why I didn't remember. Yeah, yeah. Now she, oh, and she, and, and she got a couple of fights too. Love and hip hop, New York. That's right. That's where I know her from. I thought I was thought it was Atlanta, but uh, I remember the rapper Carly B. Cause um, uh, who was the manager of her? Uh, 
uh, anyway, who he was a DJ at the radio station. Uh, he was a love interest or something. I know you're talking about now. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh-oh, Tiffany from PNP came back and said, Truck D, I have my... Com <laughs> she have a convention. Must stick to... She said, must, she said, must stick to them. If you was from a city full of interracial relationship, you might feel the same way or not. But I do. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you know, none of that shit really bothers me because I'm, I'm who I am, you know what I'm saying? And I'm a... Stick with what I love the best, you know what I'm saying? And um, I mean, that's daylight. You live it 24 7. Uh, since uh, she's hot off that one single, she better <laughs> be in the studio now making another hit. <laughs> I hear you, sir. Because, uh, hey man, that shit runs out after a while because after a while, the radio station gonna get tired of playing it or the goddamn CD just gonna melt. Hell <laughs> uh, yeah, boy. <laughs> Rod G said, Carly B started in Love and Hip Hop New York. Really, to be speaking though, I, I say this on, on the Cardi B joint. Yeah. Um, at least, at least you can understand what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, true that. True and that. Some of the bubble rap that she got out there now today, mm -hmm. like it, it, at least I can understand what she's saying. So I, I'll give her that. Like the song, the song, it, it, it's kind of like one of them things. Like you said, you hear so much, yeah. you actually talk about the it. You know, I ain't gonna sit there and, and you know, I, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna play the song, you know, but I ain't got yeah. nothing to say. Oh, yeah, get her money. I, I'm, all, I'm all for black people getting money, or, or you know, hey, bro. you know, you know, minorities getting their money. I know she's Dominican and all that, but yeah, I, I'm all for it. You know, however she got to get her money, they go get it. You know, one thing about that though, bro. Every time they play, it, every, yeah, every time they play it, you hear them off on cash register. Shling, 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 shling. Yeah, hey man, we got another celebrity in the house, man. Uh, X Squad affiliate, man. Uh, straight out of the DMV, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we have the Barbershop Sports Talk Podcast, but we have from out of Brooklyn, 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 we have Trey Frazier up in the house. Brooklyn in the house. What's up, Trey? Ooh. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir, man, but... Uh, yeah, man, it, 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 it's all good, bro. You know, um, hey, man, we in the best part of the year right now. We got Major League Baseball about to get into them playoffs. They in a stretch run of the season. You know, September is the month that you either make or break your year, you know. Um, we got uh, NFL getting ready to start Thursday. College football started last weekend and got hot and heavy this weekend, you know. And NBA is around the corner. They go to camp next month, October, the end of October or the middle of October. No, that's the end because they don't go to camp before my birthday. Matter of fact, October 19th is coming up. No one Chief Rock Jersey Vernon is ready to get busy. Um, Trey said, Carly B got bars for days. Big L fall back on your hip hop. Big L don't know nothing about no hip hop. Big L coming here thinking he know the 70s, 80s, 90s, 2000s hip hop. He just know the 2000s because he just got into hip hop. You know what I'm saying? They don't play that much down in Arkansas. You get the shit five months later. <laughs> he talking about, he, he already talking about something about hip hop. Thank you, Trey. Thank you for putting that on him. Little L from Mississippi. <laughs> Tupelo. From, yeah, from Tupelo. Tupelo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. She said she got, Tip said she got in the, uh, the shower from uh, that hangover. That shower ain't going to do it, mommy. You need to go drink you a beer right now. That shower ain't going to do it. Uh, let me see. Uh, I had to pop me a beer open and get my medicine on. Um. Uh, here goes Big L. He always talking about coming to somebody's chat room, ter 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 turning over tables and shit. No, nah, you can't turn on those tables if you're in the corner with your dunce hat on. All right? So you get back in the corner and you turn that wall over. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, man. Hey, but you know what, Mike Wave is big, man. Uh, we was able to come on here on this holiday, man. A lot of folks, you know, they probably uh, still cooking out today. Uh, you know, a lot of them probably eating leftover cooking. Uh, a lot of them still probably relaxing in the bed. And then you got a lot of them at work. That was my big thing at the beginning of the show. How could Labor Day be a holiday and everybody that work ain't off? Why is that? Well, so, you know, it, it, some, some, some people don't got the luxury of having jobs, you know, that, that just can shut down for a holiday. Like, people who work at gas stations, you ain't never going to get no holiday. You, know, you might keep off, but the gas station's still going to be open oh. even on Christmas, even on New Year's. You know what I'm saying? The Fourth of July. It, 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 it's a lot. It's a lot of different people who work in, 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 the, in the food in the food business. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't get these days off, man. You don't get these days off, and it sucks that some folks got to work on the holiday they call it Labor Day. But fun no, life, man. No, it's but like this. But this is my thing. This is my thing, straight up, right? Don't make a holiday called Labor Day when you're not shutting down everything. I mean, things could be shut down. You get your gas. Just like just like when it's, uh, when when it's snow, people will get all the gas they need. They get all the food they need. They will tear the stores down. You get everything you need for that one day, that holiday, and then you cool. Only people that should be working is people at the radio station and the TV station because you need entertainment. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I I, I hear you, Chief, but they also say liberty and justice for all, and we already know the type of folks. Hey, hey, Sin just corrected me, and you're right about this one, Sin. Sin said, you can't shut down hospitals and newsrooms. <laughs> he ain't lying about that because we don't know what the we fuck going on. Oh, yeah, airport can shut down for what? Shut down and then they reopen at midnight, man. Everybody just got to wait till midnight to catch their flight back. That's all. Shit. Shut down. Labor Day is Labor Day. You shut it down, <laughs> or, or or give everybody a half a day or something. You know, um, Trey Trey said public transportation need to stay open too. Shit, they ain't even open the days they supposed to work. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> <laughs> them, them motherfuckers they have transportation ass. You know what I'm saying? You know they give you ass. Yeah, man. Shit, doing they regular work day they shut down and shit. So what the fuck? You know? <laughs> yeah, man. But, Trey, I'm going to go through Everybody put your teams in there, man. I'm going to go through what your team going to do, what the Chief think your team going to do. You know, just put your trade. Being that Trey is up here, I know what team he is. He's the Baltimore Ravens. Um, I'm going to say what I feel, and then you say what you feel, Michael Ray. I feel that Flacco will be off rhythm due to the fact he was hurt. He's going to be a little gunshot from the injury. So he's going to be off. They're going to lose at least... Out of the first five games, they may go two and three. You know what I'm saying? That's the best I can give them, two and three. You know what I'm saying? I think the Ravens in Pittsburgh will have shabby records, and they're going to fight to see who goes to the playoff with Cincinnati hanging on their coattail. The only reason Cincinnati won't make it is because that redhead-ass motherfucking quarterback of theirs, they can play good through the season, come playoff time, they fuck up, or at the end of the season, they start losing too. So Cincinnati won't put them the best three teams in that division. They only got four. Uh, you can't count Cleveland, but Cleveland, you know, they always do the same old shit year after year after year. What you think? Uh, I don't know about Baltimore. Um, not really sold on their running game. <clears throat> uh, uh, their defense is always supposed to be respectable, but, I mean, I don't know. I, I, not sold on Flacco. He ain't done nothing since that year that they went to the Super Bowl and won. And... I don't know, man. I like the coach. I like John Harbaugh, but at the same time, you see, they, you know, they're going to be one of them teams that got the sink over there because of what they did to Okay, Right. Why right. even, you know, you knew you wasn't going to sign them if you're the owner. You knew you wasn't going to sign them, so why even bring them in and, and say, oh, yeah, well, we're going to take, take the post of the fans and see how the fans feel? Yeah, like, that's some bullshit. You know yeah, yeah. I think, I think they, they, I think they suffer a stink this year because of that. So okay. I, I, I don't got both. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, for for a man that's boycotting football, he put his team up there. His name is Big L. He put the Bears. What you think about that division? The Bears ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> How about the rest of the division? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'll say, this. I'll say this. I appreciate y'all letting us get Alshon Jeffries off your hand for nothing. <laughs> That's all you got to say, huh? <laughs> yeah, man. 
Well, I'm a yeah, second. Yeah. I'm a second. I'm a second that the Bears ain't shit. Never will be shit. They.